Hi everyone, my name's Neil and I'm here to share with you our updates for the 2018 Computer Science Education Week. This presentation will cover the importance of computer science education, the Minecraft 2018 Hour of Code Voyage Aquatic, we'll review facilitator resources, give an example from this year's tutorial, and focus on what you might cover after your Hour of Code. We're in the middle of what many are calling the fourth industrial revolution. Rapidly advancing technology transforms our world and is becoming essential to the jobs of today and tomorrow. When people are able to use and create technology, it can lead to higher paying jobs, entrepreneurial opportunities, and a better quality of life. When they cannot, it has the potential to disrupt established businesses, careers, and lives. We embrace the challenge of ensuring everyone has access to the power and potential of technology. When everyone has the chance to reach their full potential, we all prosper. According to one estimate, most of the jobs of tomorrow don't even exist yet. That has caused us to ask ourselves, what can we do today to prepare youth for the digital economy of the future? Digital skills from basic computer literacy to computer science education are needed to equip young people to be future ready and open the door to greater economic opportunity. Unfortunately, these skills are beyond the reach of too many youth, especially those who live in poverty and marginalized communities. Digital skills is a broad category. This represents a spectrum of digital skills, from functional to specialized. In addition, are skills like digital citizenship, including areas like online safety, behaviors, image, and digital law, as well as more specialized skills that complement, like digital design, which integrates skills across these areas. These are all critical and enable young people to thrive and ones we care deeply about and pursue to work on through our partnerships and philanthropies. Much of our work today will focus on increasing access to computer science education. Computer science education nurtures creativity, critical thinking, and problem solving, and it gives young people the skills most in demand by employers. In the U.S. alone, over 500,000 current opening exist in computing jobs, and they are projected to go twice the rate of all other jobs. However, only 43,000 computer science students graduated into the United States workforce. Our goal is to ensure young people are future ready and have access to the digital skills most in demand by employers. Early and continued access to computer science education not only opens up a world of future opportunities, it also sparks a deeper interest in topics and tools that can enrich lives and promote a greater understanding of the world in which we live. This is why the inequality matters. In 2016, there were over 500,000 open computing jobs, but just under 43,000 computer science graduates. CS majors have access to high demand jobs across all sectors, and they get to play an active role in the digital transformation that's affecting every industry and every community on the planet. Not all people who take CS education will become computer scientists, but the skills learned are still valuable. Here's why. CS teaches the top skills employers look for in 2020. Things like critical thinking, creativity, cognitive flexibility, and good and sound decision making. Microsoft's approach is to partner with nonprofits, governments, educators, and businesses to provide grants, technology, and resources to help ensure digital skills and computer science are accessible to young people. We help nonprofit organizations and schools build capacity to offer computer science and digital skills training. We drive long term systemic change through working to influence policy, advocacy, and partnerships. And finally, we generate excitement and support for computer science education and for the resources available to support this goal. We work with over 150 nonprofits in 60 countries to help debunk myths and engage young people, especially those least likely to have access, with computer science learning experiences that dispel these myths and ignite passion. But there is still a fundamental lack of understanding around what computer science is, why it matters, and how to teach it. And this is what we're all trying to address. Microsoft is the largest funder of Code.org. 
Code.org's Hour of Code didn't even exist just a few years ago. The progress we've made here is tremendous. When a young person does even one hour of code, it changes the way they think about computer science. And we're so happy that you're joining us and Code.org to do an hour of code this year. This year's Minecraft Hour of Code is the Voyage Aquatic. In it, students will travel on land, by boat, and under the sea as they solve perplexing coding problems about loops and conditionals. As always, the Hour of Code is available in a variety of languages. Some of these languages, such as French, Chinese, German, and Japanese, will be available and localized by Microsoft. Other languages are available and crowdsourced at code.org slash translate. We're also working to have the following facilitator resources available in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Japanese, and Arabic. Those facilitator resources include quick tips and presentations both for younger students ages 6 through 10 and for older students ages 11 and up. Finally, once students have completed their hour of code, make sure they get a certificate of completion. If you would like to pre-print these certificates, you can use the link provided. It's also available upon completion at the end of the 2018 Hour of Code. Let's briefly review the facilitator guide and slide deck that's available for you. This slide deck we'll be going through is the one geared for students aged 11 and up. We recommend that you allot approximately 90 minutes between presentation, discussion, videos, and the student's coding activity. To get everyone excited for Hour of Code, use this section to change misconceptions associated with computer science and coding among many young people. We've provided you a sample script, and just a note for you as a facilitator, when videos are available, they do play automatically when you move to the next slide. In the next batch of slides, you'll get a welcome to the Minecraft Hour of Code, open up a conversation with your young people about perceptions of coding and coders, let the group have a brief discussion and share out, and also watch the welcome video from code.org. We'll then move to a discussion about how coding isn't just typing on a keyboard. It's about students working individually, but also collaboratively to solve problems. We even threw in a few jokes for you to use with your middle-aged students. Coding is collaborative. It is for any student, regardless of gender and background. It's for both introverts and extroverts. It's for people that want to use computers and technology to help them amplify their passions. And please emphasize that coding is about problem solving and creative and collaborative problem solving. Coding is fun to do on your own, but it's also fun to collaborate on a problem together. Position coding as a collaborative activity that can help you reach your passion and make sure to then pivot to introducing the Minecraft Hour of Code Voyage Aquatic. Let's switch applications for a moment and I'll demo just one puzzle from the Voyage Aquatic, the 2018 Hour of Code. In this puzzle, puzzle six, you're actually in a boat. You're traveling across the kind of iceberg landscape ahead, and your goal is to catch the salmon that you can see jumping in front of you. And to do that, you're going to need to use a repeat loop. You can see here I've already loaded in the blocks. I have a repeat until goal, which means this code will run again and again until I reach the goal of the puzzle, which is the salmon right over here. And I have these blocks of code. I want to repeat three times and move forward. I want to turn right, repeat three times, move forward, and turn left. And if I track over here, what that's going to do is move me to this spot, turn right, move me to this spot, turn left, and I'll do that loop again to reach the salmon. So let's see how that goes. So that solution worked great. You may notice that there's a turtle on screen. We provide the turtles as an extra challenge in this year's Hour of Code. We don't necessarily talk about them in the instructions. We don't necessarily give hints on how to solve them. 
but for a way to challenge both younger and older students, encourage them to solve not only the primary objective of the puzzle, in this case, capturing the salmon, but also the secondary puzzle, rescuing the turtle along your way. Let's head back to the slideshow. You can find this year's tutorial and the three previous Minecraft Hours of Code at code.org slash Minecraft. Note that you can keep this slide up during the tutorial and give people a chance to find their way to the page. If participants sign into the tutorial, their progress will be saved on their levels and they can come back if they don't finish. Since there is always free play at the end of a Minecraft Hour of Code and you can construct however you like, Students have an opportunity to spawn the mobs that are available in this year's Hour of Code, as well as place coral and other decorative blocks that they've explored along the way. Make sure to congratulate your students for what they've accomplished, and let them know that they can do the Hour of Code again from home, on their own, or even with family members. Remember that students can go back through the puzzles if you want to challenge them to find a more elegant solution, or have them make sure that they rescue the turtles along the way if they have more time. After students complete the Minecraft Hour of Code, they can share their link with teachers, family, friends, and peers on Facebook, on Twitter, and text message. In last year's Hour of Code, Agent's Journey, students can also upload their code directly into Minecraft Education Edition to see it come to life in the real game. We're also excited that in the 2018 Hour of Code Voyage Aquatic, if schools have access to Minecraft Education Edition, there is a Voyage Aquatic World that is available in the Minecraft World Library. This is an aquarium coding activity that leverages both Minecraft Education Edition and Microsoft Make Code. If you want to learn more about Minecraft Education Edition, it's a game-based learning platform that offers a way to engage students of all ages using Minecraft. With Minecraft Education Edition, you can teach a wide range of subjects, history, chemistry, sustainability, and even foreign languages. We provide lesson plans and training for both teachers and students. Education Edition uses special features like classroom management tools, secure sign-in, classroom collaboration, and even tools for formative assessment. Join our global network of mentors and educators and have access to technical support and community support from other educators on their journey with game-based learning. To wrap up the slides, offer time to your students to reflect on what coding means to them after the hour of code. Provide them with more information to continue on their coding journey and make sure to thank them for their time joining the Minecraft Hour of Code. Hour of Code is a great place to start but we still have more work to do to help ensure all youth have access to computer science education. What can you do to continue on your journey? Sign the One Click Diversity Pledge and join almost 2 million others signing that every student in every school should have the opportunity to learn computer science. Promote computer science for all. It drives innovation throughout our economy, but it remains marginalized, especially in K-12 education. Currently in the U.S., only 35 states allow students to count computer science towards high school graduation. Use the link to send a letter to your local official. Support young people to have their voices heard. They can use the guide as a standalone resource or as part of a Changemakers workshop. Download the Changemakers guide to CS Advocacy today. Support nonprofits focused on increasing access to digital skills, including computer science. The work with nonprofits, educators, governments, and businesses increases economic opportunity by providing digital skills and CS education to underserved people and communities. Volunteer. Volunteering doesn't just impact students, it impacts those that donate their time and talent. There are so many ways to make a difference, and so many ways to volunteer and promote digital skills and computer science. And lastly, continue to host Hour of Code. Hour of Code continues to be a global movement reaching tens of millions of students in 180 countries. Anyone, anywhere, can organize an Hour of Code event anytime. One hour tutorials are available in over 45 languages. No experience needed. You can start with the 2018 Minecraft Voyage Aquatic Hour of Code, or feel free to peruse to the previous Minecraft Hours of Code 
from 2015, 16, and 17, which continue to be available. From Microsoft, thank you very much for your time and your commitment to computer science education and digital skills, and we look forward to you beginning the journey with coding with your students.